Hello there, this is Leo Waldock for Kit Guru with another update on our testing five OCZ ARC100 SSDs to death. We've reached another landmark. We passed 300 terabytes quite recently and now it looks like I've killed one of the SSDs. Uh, as it happens, it's drive D, not that it makes a great deal of difference. Uh, and the last figure I had for it was 322 terabytes. Now, the reason I say it looks like I've killed an SSD is that all six SSDs in the uh, PC, that's the boot SSD plus five uh, OCZ SSDs that I'm testing, uh, they all appear in the BIOS correctly. However, in Windows, we're missing a drive. And despite moving connections around, unplugging cables, trying a few different things, moving power connections just to be on the safe side, it fails to pop up in Windows. So, uh, to all intents and purposes, dead. Now, as to why it's died, I don't know. Uh, and the reason I say that is that this particular drive had exhibited zero bad blocks. Um, uh, going across the piece, uh, zero bad blocks, the worst drive, 21, zero, seven, and one bad block. So this was actually uh, one of the two drives that appeared to have no problems whatsoever. Uh, and yet it's upped and died. Uh, and in a sense, that's quite interesting to me because it suggests uh, one of the failure modes for SSDs, as, as I think we all know, is they can suddenly just go. Uh, generally, that happens when you boot the system and it just doesn't appear. In this instance, the, the thing I've been hammering away running the Anvil's uh, benchmark, the endurance test, and uh, the drive dropped out. So once I shut the system down, restarted it, it was then gone. So it actually vanished while the system was running, uh, which uh, is unusual. But then of course the whole experience is unusual. You don't run 300 terabytes of data to uh, SSDs in general use. Uh, 22 terabytes is the warranty limit. We're way past that. So what we're seeing now really is what happens in an unusual circumstance. Uh, however, there we go. Uh, one drive down, four to go. And even if it's something that's actually fixable to all intents and purposes, that's a dead drive. So this is Leo Wardock for Kit Guru, and we're making progress.